everybody welcome to the homestead so we're doing a video out here it's kind of windy hope you can hear me uh, we're gonna do a quick sawmill update a lot of people have been asking since we posted on Facebook that we had purchased a sawmill I want to give you that kind of an update on where we're at so here's the mill we have it delivered to the house uh, we used a trailer to haul it in and we used our tractor uh, to uplift it off the trailer and set it in place um, it's not where it's um, the, the final place it's gonna be we're gonna put it over here uh, we're gonna pour a cement slab two cement slabs for it and uh, the cement is coming tomorrow we thought it was gonna be about three weeks but I was just told today that it's gonna be uh, delivered tomorrow so I'm excited about that to finally get that um, in place so that we can start using it a lot of people have asked you know hey what's one of the ways you can make money on the homestead you know how can you earn a living you know what, what's a way you can generate income on the homestead well uh, this is going to help us do that uh, sawing uh, lumber for different uh, furniture makers or for even our own use uh, that we can use to make products that we can sell on uh, the website there are a couple of furniture makers uh, that we have uh, basically uh, uh are, are using it and we know that are uh, that are going to be we can provide lumber for and we're going to make products that we can sell on our website and so that's really cool and with the american homestead branding just a quick rundown on this uh here's the carriage basically and uh, it's going to be able to handle logs anywhere from you know up to about 17 18 inches in diameter um, and then it's all hydraulic driven. There's a hydraulics that hook up to the tractor. So it's PTO driven. You're going to hook up to the PTO, which is right there on your tractor. You need at least um, a 40 horsepower tractor to run this. We have a 50 horsepower tractor. It's the Massey Ferguson right there. And we'll hook the Massey Ferguson up to the PTO and that will uh, run uh, the saw. And so um, the saws, the teeth on the saw are in pretty good shape. Um, I have a whole other set of teeth I can use for this. The shanks, I'm going to need to get some new shanks. Um, the shanks on here are good, but I'm going to need to uh, get some additional extra ones. Uh, it's only missing, it's missing one tooth, one shank down here. But all everything else is present. But I was given a box uh, of other shanks and teeth that I can use for this. But uh, the shanks that I was given uh, will not fit this saw that I know of, at least I don't think they can. Uh, they may be able to, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm gonna have to, eventually I'm gonna get some new shanks and teeth anyway. But I was provided a whole box of teeth. So that's pretty cool, it comes with the saw. And so again, it's all hydraulic driven. We'll hook it up to the hydraulics of the tractor. And we're gonna set this thing in place as soon as the cement is finished curing on these two pads. Now you have two pads basically because you want to keep a, a section in the middle where you're gonna dig out a huge hole. And that's where a lot of the sawdust is gonna be uh, deposited that you'll have to empty out every so often. Over here, I'll give you a tour of everything that was included with it. Over here, you have a chain and some other linkage and uh, some gears that will basically run the chain to help pull the sawdust out from underneath the saw. That'll continuously run. And so that, that was included. And I know it looks kind of bad, but I mean, this chain is in pretty good shape. It just, it looks worse than it is because it's been a little bit weathered, but it's a good chain. It, it'll work fine. And then, once we get this thing built, we're going to go ahead and build a shelter over the top of it so that we can keep it out of the weather. And then also, it allows us to work in adverse weather conditions uh, during the year. Comes with a set of rollers to roll the boards off. So that was pretty cool. We'll set that up along with it. Um, it also included, includes this, which will handle an additional uh, saw blade if we want to, or to expand into another mill. At some point later on uh, that this was all included with it and that brings us to this over here I just delivered this today uh, I picked it up today I borrowed the trailer from a friend an old boat trailer and this is a, a much larger carriage uh, that we can use to build an additional mill at some point and we have the rails that fit with this carriage Okay, so if we want to build a bigger mill and use, we have rails for it that were included. They're over there next to the, the mill. And we can set up this, this carriage and, and run it if we need to at a, at a different later point. But all included, the price we paid for everything was $1,500. bucks. Uh, included that carriage, this over here for the larger blade, uh, which we don't have at the moment. And it includes the mill, obviously. Includes the chain. And linkage included this as well 
you know for the larger for the larger mill and carriage uh, included a coupler here's the coupler basically a brand new coupler for the PTO on the tractor so it's a female to female coupler brand new he gave that to us and that'll hook up to the PTO here on the other end of the tractor here's the rails for the larger carriage that he gave us so we have those and then over here this additionally also goes with that larger carriage all that included for fifteen hundred dollars should get us going now the history on this thing is a foley bell saw an m14 foley bell saw that's a sears roebuck uh, catalog product you can see the original tag right there it says if you can read that sears roebuck and it's 1940 i believe is the um i don't know if the year is on here or not i don't think it is um but it's basically a, a built in 1940 and the guy was using this up until just recently, he ordered a new sawmill from Timber Timber King. It's a big giant bandsaw to replace this one. And he's also doing specialty lumber for furniture makers and for some other things too, I think. But uh, I mean, it's it's in working order. It was it was working up until recently, and so we're ready to get started on this thing and use it. I'm excited. Um, you know, it's going to generate income. We have a ton. I don't know if you can see. We have tons of cedars all over the property i mean some really big giant cedars and we've been we've been cutting them down as we've been living here for the last three years and have uh, been stacking these cedars in certain places and um going to use them for this mill and we're going to make cedar cedar mantles and um, some taxidermy boards and you can really get some some good money out of that uh working on them a, a couple days a week and just cutting the timber down and saving that up and uh, we're going to build a kiln over on the side, either over there or over here somewhere. I'm not sure yet. And uh, that'll, that'll allow us to dry. We also have a really good amount of ce uh, I'm sorry, not cedars, but cherry wood on the property. Good, so good sized cherry trees. And I think right now the going price around here for cherry is around 450, 460 a board foot. And from what I understand, the price for cedar is around 60 cents a board foot. Um, you can get maybe higher depending on where you're at. There's even a place, um, not too far away, it was charging up to a dollar twenty a board foot for cedar wood. Um, so um, you know, good prices right now on on those woods that we can use to help generate income. We've already had a couple people who are interested in having a few cedar logs uh, milled um, to get some nice lumber out of those. They really produce a real the the cedar around here produces an amazing color and amazing quality wood. It's good for a lot of different things. It's an aromatic cedar and uh, just you can do a lot with it and so we have a lot of cedars that we're going to be cutting um, and picking uh, to, to use on this mill to help generate income for the homestead and you know also so offer some of these products to you guys from our website uh, where people can order these things uh, cedar mantles and and things like that you know so if you later on down the road if you're going to want a uh, a cedar product or some cedar lumber uh, we can order we can cut that for you and send it your way we'll be putting stuff on craigslist but you know people ask hey how are you going to generate revenue and income for your homestead this is one of the ways we're going to do it you know we've spent the last three years getting the homestead established and um and getting some of the the the, the things we needed in place now it's it's time to start looking to see what income we can generate uh here on the land and this is one of the ways we're going to do it is with this mill um, so we'll see what happens. We're going to showcase this running in operation in season three. We'll have a couple episodes probably with the mill running. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. And, uh, you know, people really enjoy to see, see these things. There's a lot of great videos on YouTube, um, of the M14 Foley bell saw in operation. <clears throat> wow. It's really windy. So I think people enjoy that. I think people enjoy those videos. So season three is coming up. You'll see this in, the, in those episodes. All right. See you next time on The Homestead. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really means a lot to us. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now you can support an American homestead by becoming a patron. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to see all the benefits of becoming a patron of our channel. You'll get access to private videos, pictures, and even live question and answer sessions that you can participate in. 
Some patrons will even receive free gifts throughout the year from the homestead. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to check it out and see the rewards of supporting our channel.